What's up guys? And it is a beautiful morning here in Anhui City. Guys, we have the lovely, the beautiful Anna here this morning. Hello. As you see me, this is my home really. This is Anna's home, she's saying. Yes. She's this allowed is my to sleep home. in there. That's her bed Inside. back there. And you got your water yeah. here. And you stay dry, right? Yeah, right. I stay dry. Not, not now in the side of right. the Right, you're not on the street. You can sleep yes, here. Right. and I am happy being allowed here. Right. So, and I have a now work in municipality. You have worked in the municipality. Just having like for this because uh -huh. I graduate in LDPC. Right. the Pulilan College. Yes, my, my salary was $3,000 a month. 3000 a month? Dollar C. Okay. And you were telling me this was your car huh, at one I time? Before, yes. This was your car, you drove yes. it. I drove it. And now and now it's just not working anymore, this is huh? The plate number. No, I don't want to see the plate number. <laughs> also tell me about yes. tell me about the Bee Gees. You were telling me about the Bee Gees earlier. Yes. The singing group, the Bee Gees. <laughs> they were here. I, I make them food and I am happy they're watching me here with you, Sir Brian. I hope they like my food. Because that's they said that was so much more than heaven. The singing group, the Bee Gees. Yes. What songs did they sing, Anna? It's your love, how deep is your love? And <laughs> staying alive, right? Yes, staying alive. And they're here right now, huh? They're here. All of them. Can I play also? Okay. All right, Anna. Thank you for the update. Yes. Everybody, uh, everybody Bye -bye. likes an update from Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Anna. All right, I'm out and about doing my little walk around this morning, getting my exercise in. I just stopped over here at police station number four. Everybody says the dreaded police station number four. Uh, they deal with a lot of stuff. I just met the new commanding officer, Domingo, James Domingo, the new commanding officer of station four. I think about a month ago, he said he came in here and uh, but they've cleaned it up. I mean, he's doing a nice job. I was inside, like I said, I just spoke to him. Really nice gentleman. Uh, said he did some time over in the States for some training. Scuba diving. Let me show you. They got they got the little marquee up here. When I looked. I said, "This is him right here." Uh, Jesse James M. Domingo, acting station commander. I was like, "Man, he's a young guy." Uh, but he told me that's an that's an older photo. Uh, but he's still young. Nice guy. And I asked him. I'm just gonna walk here and talk. I asked him, "What are the issues you have?" What's the biggest issue you have here with foreigners? Coming here, hanging out in this area and everything, and partying, he knows the deal, he knows what's going on. And he said the biggest issue he has is with people getting drunk and fighting. I always say, don't get drunk and fight. All right, first of all, if you're gonna get drunk and fight, don't fight a Filipino because now you've, now you've, you've crossed the line. But of course, foreigners love to get drunk and you know, the testosterone's running hard here and you know, everybody's, you know, get the, the beer muscles and you know, you know how that is. And uh, I asked him what happens. He told me, he goes, if it's an issue with foreigner on foreigner and it's just a fist fight, uh, you get hauled in, you will get hauled in. They will, you know, take a statement and everything and then basically, okay, you're okay, you're okay, away you go. However, if it's a, a, a violent, a hard, violent fight, in other words, weapons may be involved and somebody gets seriously hurt, he said, you will get charged. He said, you will get charged as you would anywhere else. This car here is flying uh, as you will anywhere else in the world. So uh, very nice guy, very, very friendly. So how you doing? All right, I'm going to take a stroll up First Street, see what's new, what's going on. I uh, just talked to a couple of fellas here, and they did confirm with me that the train is coming through. The train, the rail line is coming through this area right here. Uh, I'm going to say it is going to be suspended. I don't, do not think it will be on the ground. Uh, somebody said, well, if it comes through here, what about this bridge? Guys, this is a government project, multi 
million if not billion dollar project from Manila up here. They will take that bridge down, that walkway bridge, to make way for the railway. Uh, you can see the old sign right here. Railroad. Look. It, it, probably the top one says, stop, look, and listen. Uh, but there's the old concrete railway sign that's still standing. The train did come through here at one time down on the ground. A lot of people do remember that. Matter of fact, this gentleman here, I was speaking to him. <laughs> he does remember it. Uh, so like I said, we're just going to take a stroll. Stroll up First Street and uh, see what's going on. You know, there's that walkway bridge that goes over to the mall. Looks like they're doing some kind of construction there. So uh, let's just take a stroll up First Street and see what's going on. This area here, <clears throat> there's your jeepney terminal there. A lot of people come down here, hop on these jeepneys, or, or come down here and then they take uh, other buses or other transportation up on the Clark. This is like really a very busy hub in the morning and in the afternoon. So you have a lot of Filipino people. They love a good deal, right? Unlimited Sam Gipso here for 198 pesos only. Uh, the conversion rate will be down below, but you can come in here. It's early now. It's maybe 10 30 11 But you can come in here. This whole place will be packed full of Filipinos Getting that deal that one What was what did I say 189 189 is that what I said one let me look up here again 198 that 198 deal uh, But yeah, very friendly very it's a this may be new here. This motorcycle parts and accessories. Don't think I've ever seen that. Motorcycle parts and accessory. Motorcycle parts. Yes. That's that's a new a new store there. She's selling. Hello. What do you sell? Fishball, right? Fishball. Kikium. What else? Chicken balls. Chicken balls. Wait, wait. Uh, what are these? Fish balls. Fish balls also. Alright. I've already, I've eaten them. They're very good. You like them? You like fish balls? Yeah? <laughs> Alright. This is uh Buko, Buko Jutes, right? Buko Jutes, yes. It's like I know all this stuff from living here. And then red tea, iced tea, uh, lemonade, Paymart. This is no right here, huh? Paymart? Groceries, frozen meat, vegetables, and fruits. That's new from the last time I was here. Guys, don't ever be afraid to try stuff. You know, just, I know people are always like, oh, I'm not gonna try the food here. It's this, it's that, I'm afraid. I guess it's up to you, but me, I've always been the kind of person you do not know what it tastes like until you try it. Uh, there are things to look for. I always said, make sure the oil that it's fried in looks clean and fresh. Don't, don't buy food from a street vendor if you see the oil is like a brownish color. Uh, yeah, I would recommend it. This here seems to be new too. Alibago Grill. You know what? Here's another thing I don't get. Well, I do get it. Um, people come here, they come to this city, you know, for the beach, right? But they never venture off on the side streets and see what's going on. You know, this is First Street here. I just walked by here and seen the sign, Live Band. An Australian fella is the owner of it. And this is what caught my eye. They have uh, live bands here, Saturday. Uh, Palms Bar, Balibago, Angular City. It's, it's just a tiny little bar. And uh, 
he gave me permission to just roll in here and show you real quick. It's not very big. He said he gets a mix of Filipinos, Americans, Australians, Brits. Uh, people come in here. Here's the little menu they have. Chicken wings, chicken fingers, German worst curry. Uh, but a nice little place. And like you said, they set up bands in here. And uh, they, play, they play music in here. Uh, just a quiet little place to come and hang out. Yeah, there's no air conditioning. But guess what? That's just part of the experience here in the Philippines. There's the menu there also. Uh, yeah, you got Canadian flag, Australian flag. If, if I'm wrong, Australians are going to kick my ass, right? But uh, yeah, just another place off the beaten path on First Street to come out, check out, hang out, have a good time. I guarantee you a good time. Uh, drinks are going to be cheaper here than up on Walking Astro Street. Astro so. Park, you cannot miss it. It's got the big umbrella, the big hat as I call it. Uh, you always get a lot of people out here in the morning. I know there's a Zumba class that goes on up here on this stage. A lot of people will walk around. There's a trail that walks around here. In the evening, the Filipino people will come down here and they will picnic and they will hang out and have a good time. Uh, everybody's doing selfies. This is a great selfie place, great TikTok place. Uh, students here, I don't know what they're doing. They're practicing. A lot of them come out here and they practice different routines, maybe for school, maybe for an activity that they're involved in. But uh, they're all very friendly, all very nice. They all gonna, they all gonna want to give a shout out. All right, there they are. Shout out. What are you? Hello. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. What are, What are the sticks for? Oh, you guys are knees. All right. Do you compete up at the mall, Robinson Mall? No. You don't compete up there. Only where? Oh, school purposes. But you study our knees. All right, all of you, huh? Do I want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Can you demonstrate? Would you demonstrate? Ah, uh, nosebleeds. <laughs> Nosebleed. Nosebleed. All right. Our knees. Our knees is a martial. It's a form of martial art here in the Philippines. It was derived here and started here. Uh, I've done a couple videos on it over the years. Uh, it's a pretty cool martial art form. Like I said, it derived here from the Philippines. God, it's such a beautiful morning. The sun is not beating. It's a little overcast, a nice breeze. And I like just walking down on this side of Astro Park where it's shaded. It's pretty empty inside the park now. Like I said, later on, it'll get, it'll just get full of people. They always have vendors hanging out, always selling stuff. Uh, but beautiful morning to walk. You see this here all the time. Remember, you can't help everybody out. It just, you can't. Uh, you would go, you would go broke here, trying to help everybody out. It's sad, but it is the reality of it. Hello. Hello. All right, I'm going to just wrap this one up. There's your stroll. I, I like coming up here a couple, you know, every other month or so just to see what's going on. Because I love just talking to the people. The people are friendly. You know, that's the culture. That's the Filipino culture. Um, friendly people. Good-hearted people nice people always gonna open their hearts and their homes to you uh, like I said I I find joy inside my soul just walking around areas where the Filipino people are nobody's running around grumpy and bite your head off and look at you funny if you say hello to them or you know that's that's the people as um, it always brings it always brings joy to me being around just the, the people that live here uh, I was just speaking to a gentleman earlier on the walk and he said yes he goes uh, when America owned the Philippines and when the Spanish owned the Philippines and, and like I told him I said dude I said uh, let's be honest we never owned anything 
The Spanish never owned anything. The Americans never owned anything. We never owned anything here. It was and always will be your country. Just like America. America will always be my country. Uh, just like here in the Philippines. Um, no matter who came in throughout the history of the Philippine, the Philippine history, it's always going to be the Philippines and the Filipino people's country. So, all right, that's enough of bambling. It is time for me to roll back home and uh, upload this video so you guys can watch it. So, all right, we'll talk to you later.